This strategy is called the number line strategy. So let's solve 54 plus 37 on the number line. First, you're gonna wanna draw your number line and place the first add in or the bigger number on the left side of the number line so that you have plenty of room to make your hops. Now we're going to look at the second add in, 37, and we can see there's going to be three hops of 10 and seven hops of one. So let's start with our hops of 10 first. So since there's three tens, it's going to be three hops. One, two, three. And so I know how big these hops are. I'm going to label them with a plus 10. And that plus 10 will also remind me that I'm adding instead of subtracting. I'm moving to the right instead of the left. Now I need to draw in my seven hops of one. So they're gonna be a little bit smaller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just like I labeled my hops over here, I'm going to label these ones as well with a plus one. Now I need to fill in my numbers below the number line so that I can see what the sum is. So if we start at 54 and we make a hop of 10, that gets us to 64. And then if we make another hop of 10, that gets us to 74. Another hop of 10 gets us to 84. And now I have to be really careful because I'm making hops of one instead of 10. So one more than 84 is 85. And then 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91 and you really have to be careful when you put in those numbers to make sure that you're not skipping any hops and That they're directly below the hops So since I landed on 91 after making three hops of 10 and seven hops of one my sum is 91 which means my sum to 54 plus 37 is 91 This strategy is called the break apart strategy. So let's solve 54 plus 37 using the break apart strategy. In this strategy, we're going to separate the numbers into the tens and ones. So I'm going to highlight tens with green in both numbers and the ones with red in both numbers. So let's bring together, let's add first the tens. That's five and three. But remember, these are digits five and three, and they are actually representing tens. So five tens and three tens, which is 50 plus 30. And let's bring together our ones over here. The digits are four and seven, but their values are just four and seven. Four plus seven. Now I'm gonna rewrite my sentences down here to make it a little bit more clear. First, I'm gonna solve 50 plus 30, that's five tens plus three tens, which is eight tens or 80. Now I'm going to do this right here, adding the ones, four plus seven. I know that quickly, that's 11. And lastly, I need to bring together 80 plus 11. to get my final sum. And I know that 11 is made up of a 10 and a one. So if I do 80, if I think in my head 80 plus 10 plus one, I will get to 80 plus 10 equals 90 plus one more equals 91, which means the sum to 54 plus 37 is 91. This strategy is called add on tens then ones. In this strategy, we're gonna leave the first add-in alone and we're gonna break apart the second add-in into tens and ones. So 37 has three tens or 30 and seven ones. So when I break it apart, it's going to look like this. 30 and seven. Now I'm going to add on the tens for my second add-in to the first add in first. It's gonna look like this, 54 plus 30. 
And that is the add on tens part of this strategy. So now I know how to count by tens starting from any number. So I could start from 54 and I'm going to move up three tens. So 54, 64, 74, 84. And using this number now, I'm going to add on the ones from 37. So I can put 84 into my brain and then count on 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. And I get my sum, 91. Okay, let's solve 54 plus 37 on the hundreds chart. So I'm gonna start with the bigger add-in first on the hundreds chart, which is 54, and I've already circled it here, 54. Now I'm going to look at my add-end, my second add-end, which is what I'm adding on, 37. That's three tens and seven ones. Remember when you add a 10 on the hundreds chart, all you have to do is move down. So we're going to move down three times. Here's one, two, three for three tens. And now we're going to move to the right to add ones. And we need to do that seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I've landed on my sum, which is 91. This strategy is called the trading strategy. So let's go ahead and solve 54 plus 37 using this trading strategy. I'm actually gonna show you the trading strategy with lines and dots first, and then I will show you what that looks like with numbers. So I'm gonna set up a tens and ones house over here. Put a line down the middle to show that this side is going to be my ones, and this side is going to be my tens. And here's my addition sign and my sum will go down here. So 54 has five tens and four ones. 37 has three tens and seven ones. Let's go ahead and show that here in my tens and ones house, starting with 54. So 54 has five tens, just lines. One, two, three, four, five and four ones. One, two, three, four. And now let's write 37 down here, three tens, one, two, three, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna start by adding my ones first, so I'm gonna put the sum down here. So we have four ones plus seven ones. We can just go ahead and count the dots since they're hit there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There's the sum of my ones from both my add-ins. Now let's do the same for the tenths. Five tens plus three tens, five plus three is eight tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now this is my sum. I have eight tens and 11 ones. But since I have more than 10 ones, I can actually trade this group of 10 ones for one 10 instead. And now I have nine tens and one one, which is 91. Okay, now let's try that with numbers. So just like I made my tens and ones house over here, I'm gonna do the same over here one more time. Split it down the middle to show that this side is the ones, this side is the tens, plus sign. And now I'm going to write in my add-ins. So here is 50, four, and here is 30, Seven. And I'm stacking the ones and the tens on top of each other instead of writing it sideways like that. Now, just like I did over here, I'm gonna add the ones first. So four plus seven, we know that's 11. 
but inside 11 there's 110. So when we write 11, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna move the one from 11 over here to the tens house and keep the one from the 11 in the ones place under the ones column. So now if we look like this, here and here, that's 11. Four plus seven is 11. Now let's add all the tens together. One plus five plus three. One plus five is six. Six plus three is nine. And there's my sum, 91, which is what I got over here when I drew it as well. 